My friends, welcome. Um, I had an experience the other day that I wanted to share, and uh, I wanted to put this series together of what I'm calling my Sunday Sermon, uh, because I have found myself over the last year uh, far more spiritual than I am religious, which means I find uh, a connection with God, not necessarily in a house of worship, not necessarily in a location but more in my heart, my soul, my mind, uh, being in the outdoors, being um, in wilderness and nature, being with myself. And so um, this is my way of bringing things together on a Sunday, sharing things that I've had experiences with, and, um, and um, sharing the spiritual insight that, uh, that I feel. So I had an experience the other day uh, that was extraordinarily spiritual for me. Um, I was actually at the airport. And I believe, for me, God is everywhere. Um, we hear people talk about being saved and did you, have you found God or when did you find God? God's never been lost. God's never been gone. The, the, the problem is and the, and the trick is, is can we see him? Because he's everywhere. He's all over the place. He's in front of us 24-7. The question is, can we see? And so I believe that um, experiences happen for me on a daily basis which when I have the eyes to see, here in the scriptures, the eyes to see, the ears to hear, I believe that those uh, lessons come to me when I'm able to see, when I'm able to hear. So I'm at the airport the other day, and I'm actually in the, uh, in the security line, getting ready to go through security. And it's a long line, and um, I'm standing behind these two women. And um, these two women, you can tell, are madly, passionately in love. In love. They're holding hands, they're together, you can see them touching each other. I mean, they're, they're extremely, extremely close. The love was literally exuding from them. It was crazy. I was standing right behind them, and as I'm watching them, I'm, I'm very much an observer. I love to see what's going on around me. If there was a gold medal for uh, people watching, I would be like world champ every single year. I love to people watch. And as I'm observing these women, I'm watching them, and I'm seeing them, and I'm feeling them. I'm feeling this love. I can just look at them and see how in love they are. Like, just, you know what I'm talking about. When you see someone, when you see something, and you just have that feeling in your heart, in your soul, in your gut, that these two women love each other passionately. Passionately. Um, I was raised in a Christian household. I was raised to believe homosexuality is wrong. I'm not here to debate whether it's right or whether it's wrong or what your beliefs are or what the scriptures say, this or that or the other. Um, as I'm looking at them, I can't help but feel the love and the genuineness of the affection that these two women have for each other. And it's, it, it, was, it was touching to me. It was really, really touching because uh, there's members of my family that are gay. Uh, and so I've experienced homosexuality. I've experienced gay, um, the gay lifestyle for... A lot of years, and so it's not—it's not foreign to me. I'm not scared by it. I'm not intimidated by it. Uh, and and as I looked at these two women, I just felt love. I felt love. And the interesting thing, and where the lesson came in for me, was about uh, two or three minutes later. I'm in Salt Lake City, which most people know. Salt Lake City in in Utah is home of the Mormon Church, and so the Mormon Church is extremely prevalent here. Uh, I think the statistics are like 76% or 77% of the members of Utah uh, are LDS or are Mormon. Um, as I am standing there, I see these two sister missionaries, two Mormon missionaries that come walking like right by me. So I'm, I'm walking this way in the line with, these, with this, this lesbian couple in front of me and these two Mormon missionaries walking the other way. And it was this distinct paradox, this distinct shift for me in my mind, because I was a Mormon missionary. I was born and raised Catholic. I was Catholic for 17 years. I joined the Mormon church. I went on a Mormon mission. I was married in a Mormon temple. Uh, I was Mormon for a lot of years, and technically I still am. As I mentioned, I'm, I'm not religious right now. I don't, uh, I don't necessarily prescribe to any one particular thought, theory, notion, um, I find myself far more religious, as I said, than I, or excuse me, spiritual than I am religious. And so for me, I, I believe a lot of the, the doctrine. I believe in a lot of the, the doctrine of multiple different things right now. That's a lesson for another day. My point is this. 
as I'm watching these two Mormon missionaries come, I felt and saw and know what their message is because I shared that same message. And as I'm looking at these two sisters, I can see and know that they're about to embark on an unbelievably life-changing journey. They're going to go someplace in the world to talk to people about Jesus Christ. They're going to take a year and a half out of their life away from their family to go teach people about goodness, about faith, about repentance, about baptism, about the Holy Spirit, about life, about eternal families. I mean, all unbelievably brilliant, beautiful, amazing things. And so I'm looking at these two sisters coming, and as I'm standing behind these, this lesbian couple, it was this crazy paradox to me, is that knowing that modern Christendom, the message that these two sisters would share with these two women are that what they're doing is they're living in sin. And that what they are as a unified couple is wrong and is not what God or Jesus Christ would want. Now, I'm experiencing this, okay? I'm, I'm standing there, I'm experiencing this, and, and all of a sudden I had, call it a vision, call it a revelation, call it a daydream, call it whatever the hell you want. I feel like I, I, I receive through feeling. I receive through faith. I, I, I literally have, have found myself in a place where I can open myself up, and when I pray in the morning, I don't ask God for anything. I quit asking God for things years ago. I get on my knees and say, Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. Thank you for my children being alive. Thank you for my health, my strength. Thank you for the freedom. Please bless the soldiers. Please bless my family. I'm going to go out today. I'm going to wage war, and I'm going to go out, and I'm going to kick ass. And where you need me to be, put me. The people that you need to meet, have me meet, have me meet them. The messages that you need me to share, put them in my mouth. I'm going to go wage war. Do with me what you will. That's how I pray. That's my message. That's my connection with God every single day. And I share that connection multiple times with God every single day. But as I'm standing there with these two sister missionaries, these two Mormon missionaries, and this lesbian couple, like literally within feet of each other, within feet of me, I had this distinct vision and feeling of if the, literally, if, if the ceiling opened right now and Jesus Christ himself came down, if, if literally the, the ceiling of the airport was peeled back, if he transcended through this ceiling and came down and stood right here in front of us, if the Almighty came down right now, who would he hug? That was the feeling that I had. That was the thought that came into my mind. That was the feeling that came into my heart. If Jesus Christ came down right now and stood inches away from these two Mormon sisters, who are about to go out and embark on an unbelievably, radically life-changing, beautiful experience. And these two lesbian, this, this couple, this gay couple, right in front of me, who would he hug? It was a profound experience for me. It was, it was, it was an unbelievably spiritual experience for me. Because I answered that question very, very quickly, very, very simply, and I saw and felt the power of deity in that moment. And I realized that Jesus Christ would hug both sets of women, all four of these women equally. That he would shed a tear equally with all four of them. That there would be no division. There would be no hypocrisy. There would be no scarcity. That he would embrace and hug all four of these women equally. The same as daughters of creation, as daughters of God. And it blew my mind. <laughs> it blew my mind. It blew my mind for a lot of different reasons. And it, and it literally brought me to tears as I'm standing there. I'm sure people were looking at me like, what the hell's wrong with this guy over here, right? But I, I saw and felt the power of deity in that moment and knew, knew that Jesus Christ would embrace all of these women equally. He would embrace them equally. And so the lesson today is this. The lesson that I got is this. There's people in life that we don't like. There's people in life that we have beef with, that we have arguments with, that we have strife with, that we, we don't like or we judge a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle. You know, that, that cousin of mine is sleazy. You know, that, that uncle of mine, he's a total crook. My kid's a total friggin' 
you know, drug addict, this, that, and the other. We stand in places of judgment 24-7 with everyone that we encounter. And as I looked at this gay couple, and as I looked at these Mormon missionaries, polar opposites, polar opposites. And I realized that as I stand looking at the people that I encounter every single day, and as you stand looking at your family, looking at friends, looking at colleagues, looking at coworkers, and placing that label of judgment of this person is this, or this person is that, or this person is not as worthy as this person is. The question is this. If the roof was peeled back right now, as you sit in a room listening to me, potentially right across from the person that you have this angst, this frustration, this judgmental stance on, if the roof was peeled back right now, and the Almighty came down, and Jesus Christ stood right in front of you, who would he hug? You or them? And I would have you consider that he would hug both of you equally. That's the lesson that I got from this. That's the lesson that I learned is the division is in our own minds. The judgment is in our own minds and in our own hearts. As Jesus Christ would come down and he would share with us and he would teach us and he would show us there is no difference. There is no difference. He would hug us equally. He would love us evenly. So my friends, that's the message for you this fine Sabbath day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Enjoy every moment and make it an epic day.